Hey guys, here we are in the lab, um, ready to start the qualitative anions. So if you have your procedure, I'll tell you some stuff that I've already done. I already have my test tubes labeled, one through 10, in my test tube rack. The chart I had already made for you. Now I'm not gonna be writing this down. That's something that you need to be doing as we go along. So make sure you fill out your chart. Um, as we're going along, let's see here. I have my stirring rods already in distilled water. I've already rinsed my glassware with distilled water. Um, I have made a hot water bath. It's over here. So there it is. It's going, getting hot. Now, um, I am not gonna be doing this uh, procedure simultaneously with the unknown. I'm gonna go through the whole call scheme and then I'm gonna go back and do it again with uh, the unknown. And again, I'm gonna be doing it and kind of showing you um, what's happening. Um, and then it's gonna be your job to identify what's in my unknown. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Um, I have pH paper and we are ready to go. So procedure, step one, obtaining wear goggles, done. Um, I have my 10 test tubes labeled one through 10 already. So now I'm gonna prepare my known solution of test tube in test tube one. So let me turn this way. This is my cart that has everything. So since I'm working in the lab by myself, um, I have everything right here that I need. Um, I went ahead and pulled out all of these um, cations. So here I am, this is test tube one. And my procedure says, mix three drops of each ion that I'm going to be testing. So the ions that I'm gonna be testing are the cation solutions here. And so I've got them um, all lined up. Okay, so uh, the first one was is uh, silver nitrate. So this here, AgNO3. test tube one. So I have three drops of silver nitrate. Next, uh, mercury nitrate. So here, mercury nitrate. One, two, three. Uh, copper nitrate. Copper nitrate. solubility rules, what do we know about this anion? Next, I have iron 3 nitrate. If you said, wow, Dr. B, they all have nitrate in them, you would be correct. And that's because the solubility rules say all nitrates are always soluble, no exceptions. You wanted to do calculate a solubility product constant for a nitrate, it's going to be massive. Oh, that was just aluminum. Here's bismuth. Okay, bismuth. And last one, manganese nitrate.
Okay. So now we're all set up and we are ready to go.